Hi, welcome to Mark's Basement Arcade. Today, we are rebuilding the chime box. So, we are gonna start taking them apart. They're pretty easy to take apart. However, it does take a little muscle because these rods that are along the top here, I don't know what they're made out of, but they are not the funnest thing to bend sometimes. I've had some that are just crazy on how they're bent. Let me get a little container to put all this stuff in. Two containers actually. I'll put the screws in one and everything I'm going to clean in another. Playing a fool's game, hoping to win. That's why I do not use the kits for rebuilding these things. Because they're absolute garbage after a while. Just absolute garbage. Make sure you save these washers. You can go to a hardware store and just take a piece of this rod and they usually have it in a like metal selection. Oh, that's what I've been doing. I don't even know if you can buy this stuff. There's, here, here's another example. This is um, like air, airline hose. It's supposed to go around here. I don't use that either. Thing. I will take a picture. Of how the wiring is. I'm sure that's sufficient. I just want to put all these back the exact same place they were. This one's good. This one's good. This one's junk. The reason why it's junk. It's missing part of the top of the chime where it hits the bell. See? Junk. Not useful at all. This is stuff I'm not washing. And we are doing a chime upgrade to this too. putting Gottlieb sized chime bars in it. Be careful on bending that too. This metal is cheap. This side right here was bent way out like that. But what I want to do, make sure these chime bars are centered right in the holes. See how they're centered like that? I 
I want to make sure they're centered in the holes. They're centered on my end. There. I want to make sure they're centered directly in the middle of the holes for the best possible chime sound. Those are stock Williams ones. We will not be using them. So I'm going to go wash all this up and then we'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I got new pinball bars, chime bars um, cut. Everything's clean. And I got everything here that I'm going to show you how I put them together. Uh, for the chime bars, If this will go in focus, come on. There we go. Can we turn? You're not gonna turn. All right, it wants to be this way. Here we go. Bar sizes. Small is five and three quarter. Medium is six and five eighths. And large is six and seven eighths. Um, by um, one and a um, half inch bars. Right here. What I do is I take the original William bars and I lay them down so I can get the exact correct hole lengths. But, yes, um, that is the size. If you want to pause the frame, you can get that. Anyways, so now we're going to work on getting this bad boy together. This part we're going to cut some beer seal. This is just regular beer seal. I buy it by the feet. I get it from Pinball Resource. Cut it right there. Same beer seal that's on lockdown bars. It is perfect. It doesn't have to go all the way to the edges. I will adhere it and then I will show you. I wonder if you guys are wondering. Timestamp December 22, 2022. There, you can see that there's a little gap here, a little gap here, and then there's a little gap in the front. You just basically want this. So when these come down, they're hitting the center of that. So you don't get extra chamber noise. And that I will just press on there real nice. I got all my parts here. Clean. And start putting this back together. It helps if you put it in the right spot. So you can get your screws in. This is just a regular Williams chime box that I'm just converting to um, Williams, um, I mean Gottlieb coils, I mean um, bars, chime bars, that's all I'm doing. I am changing nothing else on it, except for I will be changing how the sound bars, chime bars, attach, because I don't like um, how they, they are, they work with, um, 
well, um, the way Williams designed them and the way the rebuild kits are. I just don't like them. So, I am going to do them in a better way that where they're going to last for a long, long time. I have never seen anybody else rebuild them this way until um, I put a video out and I see a couple other people doing it the same way. And um, some even said that they've been rebuilding them that way for a while. But I've never seen them make a video. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Um, I'm sure somebody else has rebuilt them like I, I have. So I guess it, yeah, it really doesn't matter. Coil sleeves. Garbage. We will get, this is just nap though. The coils clean them up nice and pretty. This doesn't do anything for a sound. But like I always say, if you're tearing something apart, why not clean it, make it look better, make it look as good as you can. And I have this machine that's right here that we're going to be putting it in temporarily until I can get that chime box rebuilt this summer. It's kind of broken right now. It needs to be welded. And it's winter here and I do all my welding outside. And I'm not going to drag my welder out of the nice cold shed it's in and then go outside and weld in a cold. These always go with the plastic up and the new one, remember we shot one in a garbage. Snug them that tight because they got lock washers on them. Notice the metal is on the bottom and how they are resting on that beer seal. Now, this is where it gets a little different. This is blue silicone airline tubing. It's just standard, which I think is quarter inch maybe. I will measure. You can see that there's a dirt line, a rub line. I will measure to that and cut it off. And we can measure this. So you guys can get a better look of it. It's about um, 15 millimeters. Or one and um, what is it? Seven sixteenths. 
9 sixteenths. Two, one and nine sixteenths. I'm guessing. Yeah, about one and nine sixteenths. It's the line past the half inch mark. So we're going to cut um, six of those. You can do once you get one cut, you can just line it right up there and cut more. This this is 25 feet of hose. I guarantee it's probably going to last you your whole life rebuilding chime boxes. I bought this hose a couple of years ago. And I bet you they're still probably over 20 feet. There's six. I don't even know what I paid for this, but it's been worth it. These just slide right over. Like that. Just the rebuild kits you usually get will have um, like heat shrink tubing that goes over this. This actually works so much nicer. So they're destroying my fingers. nice about the silicone, well when it's silicone, it's probably going to last a very long time. Alright, what comes next? These. These are rubber o-rings that are actually off the game. And I just take the best ones that I can find off the machine that look the best. You can use brand new ones, nothing's going to be wrong with that. If you got new ones or if your machine actually had decent old ones like this, clean them up and with the old naphtha. I don't like that one, that one's like bigger. But you can use your um, naphtha and just clean them up. I always take extras off the machine and save them. I just do a quick look at them and see how good they are. And then now when I clean them, I can actually see how good they are. These are nice, rubbery, and pliable still. They still got a, a bounce to them. But yeah, you can use brand new ones, but these are going to work perfect for used. They're just supporting the chime bars. Alright. Now we got our new chime bars. As you can see I polished them. Washers that go on the top. These plastic washers protect 
the um, bar from hitting this retainer. That's all they do. And I polish these. them I just since I cut brand new ones these are brand new bars I cut I just figured well polish them but I do tend to do that when I rebuild these and then these you just fold over I will show you how they fold over Like that so they can't pull out you should wiggle them to make sure they can't pull out let's clean up this mess and throw it in the game and see what it sounds like all right we got the machine unplugged well, it's turned off and unplugged. So let's get this in here. Now remember, this is not the factory chime box. This is out of one of my games. This chime box mounting holes were damaged on it. What I mean by mounting holes is I mean these they were tore so I basically am donating borrowing a box out of one of my machines until I can get the original one fixed. Um, the original one does not use the box. That's the big difference. It doesn't use the box. So, keeping with the game, I'm going to put the one without the box back in it. sounds so much better as you notice there's nothing to this coin door it was a dealer game well I should say a route game I just tilted it it was a route game and um, a lot of times with route games they got them like that just gut them. At least some did around here. They gut them so, well, there's no way in hell you're going to be able to put this on any route after, if you bought it from them and um, make money off of it. So with that, let's bring you over a little bit more. Play game. See, 
how good it sounds with Gottlieb bars. I like it. socket in there or something. I'm going to fix it one more time. I'll fix it one more time and then after that I'm not fixing it anymore. about this game you get unlimited balls see the red light here is clock stopped green light here is clock running you get unlimited balls so you run out of time you can add time or stop time as soon as you go up the rollovers there you're gonna start time that stops the clock so now I can keep playing I go back up there and drop the ball down one of the lands. The middle one gives you 10, 10 seconds. There we go, it's got 10 seconds. Click the clock will stop. And once I get dropped through a lane up there, it will start again. What do you guys think of that chimes? Get more of a pleasant sound than um, Williams, I think. It's either that or just how I rebuild them, they are allowed to uh, resonate better. Maybe it could be that. Or just, they are totally a different size bar. They are totally a different size bar. The thing is, you just keep getting one more ball as long as you got that clock running. Well, I got 30,000, so... Or 32,000. So it gives me more time on my clock. Put it on the lowest clock setting too. But I guess that's about it. This isn't about me playing the game or nothing, it's about um, showing you how the times work. But yeah, um, if you like this video, There'll be some cool stuff underneath here that you could click on. Uh, give me a thumbs up, share it with your friends, or copy it. But yeah, that's how you can put Gottlieb chimes on a Williams chime box. I think it sounds beautiful. And like I said, cool stuff right here. Check the description. Thumbs up and later.